Hey class, it's Mr. Falstrom and I'm here with yet another volume video and in this video we are going to be creating expressions for volume. So let me show you how to do that and how it works. So as you can see on this worksheet I have in front of me, I have a bunch of different rectangular prisms and the, each rectangular prism is partially filled with unit cubes and even though it's not completely full there are enough unit cubes for us to write a volume expression so let me show you on number one so on number one um, we can get the height right there and I'll use a different color for length and a different color for width. So now remember when we're doing a volume of a three-dimensional figure or of a rectangular prism there's a formula and the formula is that volume equals length times width times height and that's how we're going to we're going to use this formula to write an expression we're not actually going to find the answers to this we don't we're not going to figure figure out what the actual volume of each prism is we're just going to write an expression so for this first one um, one possible expression if I count the cubes for the height I can count one two three four five it has a height of five cubes so five and then the length is one, two, three cubes, so five times three times two. That's one expression that if we actually solved it and evaluated it, we would get the volume of the of the entire of the box. Um, now remember, when we're writing expressions that are only multiplication, everything in here is multiplication, you can change the order around and it's not going to affect the answer. It's gonna be an equivalent expression. So for example, if you chose to write it like this, you that would also be a correct answer. The numbers can be in any order. So that would work and that would work. And if we were to actually multiply them and fi figure out the answer, they would both have the same answer. So for example, um, five times three is 15, and then 15 times two, if we double 15, 15 plus 15, we get an answer of 30. If we do it this way, two times five is 10, 10 times three, also 30. So that's kind of what we're working on. Let's, I'll do a couple more. Um, so again, um, we've got our height. We've got our length, and then we have our width. And width is the shortest side, length is the longest side, and then height is how tall it is. So an expression for this one, we could, do, if we want to go in order, length with height, we'd say two times one, two, three, four, five, two times five times one, two, three, four two times five times four okay and again you could do four times two times five four times five times two these all work um, we could do two times four times five we could do five times two times four five times four times two just Look at all the different possible combinations that you have with just three numbers. Um, so any of those would work. So now that uh, I've done two for you, I would like you to do a couple. So let's do, let's do number three. And um, what is the height? And the height, this one, you gotta be careful. There's a hidden cube underneath 
Remember there's a layer underneath this stack. So you can see one, two, three, four, but then there's another cube below. So the height is five. How about the length? Which, how many cubes are on the longest side? It's also five. One, two, three, four, five. And then the last side, the shortest side, is the width. And what is the width? The width is three. One, two, three. So go ahead and tell me a possible expression for the volume of this prism. And there are a bunch of different combinations, so um, just I'll show, I'll do maybe one or two. So one would be three times five times five. You might have done five times three times five, or maybe you did something else with those numbers. Um, either, either way, as long as you've got those three numbers all being multiplied, you, you did it right. Um, let's do number four. Height, length, width. So go ahead and tell me the height and tell me the length. And finally, tell me the width. And so the height is going to be three, right? One, two, three. Our length would be this side. This is the longest side. And if we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the width would be one, two, three, four, five. And please give me an equivalent expression for the volume of this prism. And maybe you just did it in order. Maybe you just did, hey, three times seven times five. That works. Maybe you did it backwards. Maybe you said, hey, it's five times seven times three. Maybe, maybe you just said, hey, I'm going to do seven times three times five. Again, order doesn't matter. So hopefully you've got the hang of this. Um, I will be giving you some practice with this later on to do. So if you um, have any questions, please let me know. And I will see you on the next video.